Everyone, Sunridge of Nevada, Bruce Moffs and LCSW, and today is going to be a little bit different. Uh, we are actually in a classroom here at Piggott Elementary here in Las Vegas, and we're going to be interviewing three lovely young ladies and their vice principal over a project that they came up with. So be prepared. Uh, quite frankly, I was blown away by these three. Uh, amazing, because they approached me with this topic over the phone. They were calling random to learn information. I'm not going to say the topic just that I want them to do the talking, but just from talking to them, listening, hearing how they did this project, uh, myself and my whole crew, we have been just blown away. And I've gone to know their vice principal, and she's an amazing woman herself. Mm -hmm. And we just want to give her a lot of credit, a lot of kudos. So here we go. We're gonna do what we're gonna do, guys, so everyone understands is we're gonna go one, two, three, we're one, two, three, and I want them to introduce themselves so you get to know who these fantastic young ladies are. Go. I'm Rihanna Belay Silva. I'm eleven years old and I'm in the fifth grade. Hi, I'm Alexa Gudiel. I'm um I go to this school and I'm in fifth grade. Hi, my name is Layla Chicas Perez and I go I'm in fifth grade and I go to Pigan. Okay. Now Tell me about the topic, and I want you to tell me, you know, the topic, how you picked it, how you came about with it, and how it got started. Go. So, like, our topic is poor body image affects teenage girl self-esteem, and I feel like we picked the topic because it's just something that all of us can relate to and all of us have experienced in our life. Perfect. Um, we could all relate to this problem because we're all girls, and usually all the girls can like, usually the girls have poor body image because they don't think they're beautiful, but they are beautiful. So mm -hmm. that's why I picked this topic because every girl is beautiful. I picked this topic because I had a cousin dealing with a, like a, a problem with poor body image. So I thought, like, maybe she could, like, see what I'm doing and probably could help her. Perfect. Oh, amazing. You, everyone, you may be hearing some screaming in the background. Uh, the teachers are not beating the students. I want to make that no. clear, okay? So just worry. There's nothing weird going on here in Pig. Okay, just a little bit of yelling. Okay, now tell us how the project – Let me. I know you guys put together these cards, and I'd like you to read off how you did your piece for this project. So really we just came up with different steps, and so we like – uh, we all picked like what bothered us the most and we picked like the top reason and we picked that our, what bothers us the most about the problem is that many teenage girls struggle with this problem and they don't ask for help and they're like struggling it, struggling with it all alone and we just wanted to change it. Perfect. Um, so we made cards and like my card was about the action and... Can you pick up your card so we can see it? The action. Wow. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Oh, by the way, everyone watching, they already have <laughs> business cards. Um, very impressive. And I'm keeping one. And it has the website and girls who talk and the website who anyone suffers from poor body image. And the bottom it says, smile is contagious. So already they're preparing. So they're on, well on their way. Well on their way. And show us that, please show us that, Pete, that what you get, what you did again. First of all, your handwriting looks amazing. I never wrote that clearly when I was in college, so I'm very impressed. So tell us about your role and what you saw happening. Um. So for my action, like, like, we gave cards to 200 people in our school. Wow. So and. I know some people like just taking the cards and just like throwing it on the floor, but some people, some people actually took it. And some boys, some boy said that this is for girls, and but then I said, well, it could help you too, mm -hmm. if anyone's struggling with it. So for the call to action, um, we we know this that eight hundred percent of teenage girls go unnoticed from therapists, family members, oh, wow. um, because they have poor body image and yeah. Amazing. Well, let me just say before we get to the next young lady, when they called me and they were asking me uh, this topic, the questions that they asked were so mature. I honestly told uh, my agent, I said, and the principal, I said, my God, I thought these girls were in college. Uh, the questions were so on point, mm -hmm. so intelligent, so creative, and just amazing how poised these young ladies are. And I wish everyone 
please get a chance just to comment on them and please give us your comments. You'll be amazed like I am right now. Go. Um, so for my card, I did the impact and the organizations. And one of the organizations was you guys. And, um, <laughs> Hi. Okay. <laughs> and a little then, uh, for the local, we did you guys. And then for a national place, we did a place called the Butterfly Foundation. Beautiful. And for our impact, we talked about, like, what could help, like, like, what's going on and what could help. And, like, we kind of used you for the, from when we interviewed you. Sure. Um, we asked, uh, like, what's the most part that you think that kind of affects them? And you said, like, social media. So we thought, yeah, that kind of is a big thing. So I added it into my information. Beautiful. What I really love about these girls and their vice principal, who's an amazing woman, Thank you. is um, that they took a, a concept, and when I gave them suggestions, they took the ball and went forward with it. Mm -hmm. That's what's so amazing. It wasn't like, okay, you know, and nothing happens. What amazed me about all three of you is how you had the idea, you got comments, you got feedback, and you said, how can we go forward with it? Fantastic. That's what we, that's because that's what we try and do on our channel is to push people to take chances and feel good about themselves and go forward. And you guys did exactly that. Fantastic. Okay. Tell me about what you had to do to make the project work. What kind of work had to go in to make it work? Go. It was a lot of, we had to struggle a lot. And I feel like we can all say that we spent a lot of time. Like when we went home, we would do extra research just in case, like we didn't have enough. And me, Alexa, and Layla, we like really struggled to find a lot of information because, like I said, there's not a lot of people that like know about the topic, and there's not a lot of people that write about it. But we found like websites that helped with like poor body image, eating disorders, mm -hmm. and we based it off of that. And along with the information you gave us on the interview, it was a lot, and it was pretty much based on like our whole project. Perfect. Um. So yeah, three of us did work hard on this. I know we would like kind of like. We would like work hard on our slides and um, we would give enough information on our slides. And so we did work hard and we fought. And like Rihanna said, we did like do a lot of research just in case we mm -hmm. didn't have enough. And yeah. Perfect. And you know what? Let me tell you something also. Be prepared for rejection. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, never get upset. Uh, you can give a, a lot of these cards. People are going to say, okay. Mm -hmm. Even tear them up in front of you to, to think that they're cool and with we'll them on the ground. Don't worry because someone's going to take the card and say, you know what? Let me check this out. So never worry about that. And guess what? More and more boys today have issues about their bodies as well. So it's not just a girl thing. Um, it's become a guy thing as well. Don't be surprised. So again, don't let people ever deter you or make you feel like, oh, you don't know what you're talking about. You're right on point. So I feel like our group had ups and downs, and like like said earlier, she gave it out. The boys said, "Oh, we don't need it." So I thought like I seen people like the boys getting plastic surgery or like trying to mm -hmm. work out, like dr just drink shakes and stuff like that. And um, I felt like since our groups had ups and downs, we would like work on it all night, and like we slept before like at one a.m. before we were still calling <laughs> on the phone. Wow. Like we were like preparing. And, we're kind of, that's basically it. Wow. <laughs> a lot of preparation. Amazed at the work you guys put in. And you know what? It shows. Yes. And here's the point also. The more you put into something, the more you get out of something. Mm -hmm. And that's what we recognized when I was on the phone and when Rob came for the visit. So guess what? It shows. And that's a credit again to Ms. Hunt and, and the mentorship that she has provided for you guys to take chances and to go forward. And guess what? You're going to have things that are going to be like, okay, we start here, we got to go here, then we got to go here. Like, don't worry. Things rarely start like this straight. Sometimes you got to go around. That's normal. Okay. Tell me about when you guys actually got it together. Ms. Hunt gave you the seal of approval. Okay. You're going to go now to the different classrooms. First of all, question. I'm going to ask Ms. Hunt this. How many, sure. how many classes are you? Is it K through five? It's a pre-K through fifth grade building. Okay. Yeah. So, and how many classes would you have here? How many uh, kids are here in the school? About 700. Okay. About 700 students, about 40 classrooms. Okay. Did they hit all the classrooms? No. How no, many did they, they hit? Three. About three. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, 
Tell me how it felt to go going down the road. I'll start with you this time. How did it feel to go to the different classrooms? Were you nervous, worried, excited? I was nervous. Like our groups, like oh, we have to go at this time. We have to be prepared so we don't go. Like, and we were with other groups. We had another group with us, like video game addiction. Yeah, video game addiction, and mm -hmm. they were there too. But like when it was our turn, we were like, we have, to, we like, we got this. We this is we've been, we've been waiting for this because we've been practicing and and like the I think it was the last class I was extra nervous because my sister was in that class. Oh wow! <laughs> well, family, yes, yeah. tough tough critics. Yeah. <laughs> yes. okay. And then she was like hugging me when I was like done with it. My sister like loves me and her name's Lily. And um. Do you love her? Of course. Okay. Good. <laughs> That's important. Too. Okay. Yeah. So I was like nervous, like. And she's gonna be like, I don't know, but like, at the end she's like, you did such a good job, and she's like high fiving me at like the end. Wonderful, like, great. Well, I was kind of nervous. Like I, I wasn't nervous when we went to the classrooms. I was kind of nervous when like kind of at the end of the day we had to stay until six, yes. and like. Um, and I was nervous to talk in front of the parents because parents came. Oh, and, yeah, they wow. also presented to parents in like more of an open form. Sure, sure. So it, they spread the message to a lot I of was people. scared wow. because yeah. my mom was there. I, I was so glad my dad wasn't there because I'd be like, oh, no. Um, <laughs> um, and my brother was there. Um, <coughs> uh, my brother was there and like he fell asleep in the middle of it. Mm -hmm. Um, oh, well, brothers, yeah. we can brothers. expect, yeah. <laughs> okay. And I was really nervous, but we got through it. Got yeah. through yeah. it, got through job. it, got through it. So, like, like Alexa said, we had to stay until 6, and I was, like, really tired. But, like, we had, like, a whole lunch and after, and we were, like, all energetic. But during, like, the day, I f like, the first classroom we went, we did pretty well. Mm -hmm. And Miss Hunt was in it. Mm -hmm. And um, then we kept going in then their second classroom, the music room, and then there was going to be like two different classes, and they were all little kids, and then we were going to have to present to like a special. And then we went to a second grade class, like Layla's sister, and it, I feel like because Rob was there too with Miss Hyde. Oh, yeah. And um, we did pretty well because it was like the last one. My feet hurt because I was wearing high heels, and we had to <laughs> run to like other classrooms. But then at like the end of the day, I had two different pairs of shoes. And I would keep switching well, in and out. Professional. They learn to be yes. professional. Yes, I yes, you yes. Well. Okay. High heels and you have to have your flats. Yes. Understandable. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> good. Like, good. Good. Yeah. Good. And like Alexa said, our parents were there. Mm -hmm. Like my baby brother, he was like, he was all energetic. He wouldn't sit down for like 50 <laughs> seconds. And my mom was really proud of me, and she was really proud of my group. Yes. And I was just, I loved the experience to work with all my friends on a serious topic. Beautiful, beautiful, mm -hmm. beautiful, beautiful. And that's something also, you know, people sometimes will say, you know, I do a lot of public speaking. And even the videos are essentially, it's like a presentation. And people will be like, you know, do you get nervous? Do you get, do you get butterflies? And that's natural. That's normal. And, but the more preparation you do before a topic, the less nervous I get. And but well, you got to push yourself. And sometimes you're gonna have audiences of little people. Sometimes you're gonna have audiences of older people. That's okay. You have a great message, and don't be afraid to share it with whatever and whoever is going to be there. Okay. Now I'm go from here to here. Why do you still feel this topic after you what you've been through? Why do you feel now probably more than ever that this topic is so important? Well, I mean, after the whole exhibition process, I really learned how passionate I feel about this topic. Mm -hmm. And I've been thinking about it ever since exhibition. It was like a couple months ago. And like, I've been thinking about it. And I was just like, wow, this topic really brought out how serious I was about it. And I just think that in the future, if I have another, op if I have another like option, I would do this again. And if I could, I would do it with the same group. Aww. Great. Um, so yeah, I felt really passionate about this topic and so when our teacher gave us these papers to fill out and what topic you want to do, I was like, it's like our teacher said poor body image is like really hard and like it's like for high school people and I said maybe I should like, maybe I should challenge myself. Mm -hmm. So I put, poor, picked wow. bulimia um, poor body image. Great, 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 great. Mm -hmm. Um, so I thought this topic would, was like, 
I thought like, is it gonna be hard? Is it gonna be easy? Or is it like in the middle? And then when I started saying, wait, if I had more people with me, it wouldn't be that difficult. So I'm, um, Alex is my friend, Rihanna's my friend. So I'm like, piece of cake. It was a piece of cake in the beginning, looking for research. And we looked for businesses, and like we found you guys, and then <laughs> um, we, and then in the end, we were like, in the end, we were like, we were like struggling because we were like, oh my gosh, like what should we wear? We're gonna do this, we're gonna do that, and then in the end, it worked out. It worked out. It worked out. And that's really the whole thing is that what I'm amazed is what these young ladies did was taking starting from step a mm -hmm. and literally going to step triple z and you know walking through each and every step and not having the fear or not letting it bother them. okay i'm not so sure about something but you know what i could figure it out i can go to her you know what let me call someone in the community up ah, they found me because i remember your principal vice principal saying to me like you know they tried like five different places yeah. no one mm -hmm. called back and I got the call, hey, there's this elementary school, this preschool, you know, blah, blah, blah. Can you give them a call? Of course, I know Piggott, blah, blah, blah. Let me give them a call back. Oh, so nice. Thank you. Thank yes. you. And I then she said, it. I got these three girls. I said, fine, fire away. Let me be prepared for the topic. And the questions were amazing. So I'm just saying, this is for everyone listening as well, guys. Never give up. No. Um, don't worry. If one door is closed, knock on the next one. And you guys are living proof of that. That's what kind of why I'm so impressed with you in so many different ways is that nothing stopped you. It's like, okay, not working here. I'll go here. This is not working. Let's try this. Uh, it's a high school topic. Uh, really, it's kind of not actually. Right. Kind of elementary school level. Because um, even, by the way, your vice principal was taken away. Yes. At some of the things that you guys uncovered, she <laughs> yes, was like, whoa, I, was. Wow. I didn't know this was even going on in my school. Right. And this is something also that a lot of times with adults, you know, you think like, you know, everything that's going on. And then here's the thing going back again. We were talking before, when you see things through other people's eyes, you often see different things. And you guys uncovered an issue that I don't think anyone knew even existed. And that's really a credit to the three of you for putting a light on this topic. Okay, um, have kids, since you did the presentation and did the performances, have kids come up to you in the hallways? Go. Yes, a lot of kids came up to me. They're like, one kid, my, my sister's friends, like since I went to go represent in their class, they're like, like am I going to get this? And then they were like, they were like, I'm like, it, well, it de kind of depends. If you're not feeling good about the way how you are, there's a chance it can happen. Like you, people are like calling you names, like, fat or something you would be it's, I couldn't explain it then like not to scare them or whatever good mm -hmm. and then some fifth graders a different class were doing bulimia which is sort of part sure. of, part of body image and then we were they're like group we're talking to us and then we have like my family friends they're they checked out the website and then my mom asked me like a question like why did you pick this topic like what made you feel like and I explained it to her and then she's like that's my dog all right <laughs> all right be proud mom be proud yes. be proud um so when we were passing out our website cards I remember like a big circle surrounding me and like I remember passing out the cards to people in third grade mm -hmm. um and they said what is this card for I'm like oh it's like for people that like don't like themselves i was trying to keep it simple because they're still kind of young kind of no your um, audience perfect uh so i was saying like it's bad for you like this could hurt your body and um this is what like this is poor body image is one like you hate yourself and you don't like how you look and then and then i remember this girl came up to me and said that's good because i bite my nails mm -hmm. amazing yeah. amazing 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 well, yeah, a lot of kids have, like, come up to me and asked me questions, like, more. Like, when Alexa said when we were passing out cards, because we weren't passing them all out together. We passed them at different times. Like, I passed it out to fourth grade, and I feel like fourth grade is a step up for, like, fifth grade. So I, I keep it simple, like Alexa, but I also put in some words that they might not know. And, like, because it was, like, because we didn't present to, like, all the other classes, we only presented to three, it was like a lot of kids like saw during the night performance that they came 
they're like, wow, that's pretty cool. I want to learn more about it. I want to get go to their website. And during the night performance, we had this whole stack of our business cards and almost like all of them were gone. Mm -hmm. So I felt like we did a pretty good job. And I've just, people come up to me a lot, like too, for my family. And so I just feel like we could keep doing this. You know, and again, uh, just to, you know, to clarify what all three of us, and they all spoke amazingly, is that, you know, all of a sudden, with a little bit of knowledge, you, in a sense, become like the experts. And don't worry about your age. Trust me. You know more realistically than 95% of the population about this topic. Mm -hmm. And the fact that people have come up to you and talked to you and share with you means, you know what you did, the most important thing is you have shown you're relatable that people can come up to you. Because you can talk about something, but if people don't feel comfortable around you, they'll never ask a question. That's the right. fact that they That's came right. up to all three of you and have done that with yeah. your family, friends, classmates, is a credit to all three of you. That means you're relatable, and that means your message hit home. Mm -hmm. So don't have someone say to you, oh, you're just kids, you don't know anything. You know what? You now, and essentially, are experts. That's what you are. And for people to say things to you that are not like related to the topic, but are related to the topic, you know what? I don't have self-confidence because I bite my nails where I feel this way at my house where you made me realize this about myself. That's what happens with the topic also. You start here, but people start asking you questions from here, 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 all related to the topic. So just be prepared for that kind of stuff. That's very, very normal. All right. I want to get to the website now and tell me about the website. So we, on the website, we like share like what bulimia is because at first we were like getting a little confused, like bulimia or just like uh, self-esteem, but then we finally focused in the middle, like bulimia and self-esteem. So on one section of the website, we have um, what bulimia is and how people like, how people can get it and how people like get other things. And then we put like um, a picture of the supermodel that is next to this picture of a girl that is um that thinks she's fat and she because she's a little curvy and it just we put an arrow to this to that so they show what a major problem it could be and we have daily affirmations that um i, I told my mom about and my mom really liked it because she had this friend that um that couldn't like didn't like anything about herself but then she showed her the daily affirmations and her friends is doing much better now so i feel Amazing. like the website Amazing. is doing really well for all of us perfect yeah. tell us the name of the website um the name of the web website is girls who talk girls who talk dot org, org. Mm -hmm. yeah okay everybody again plug here it's <laughs> called girls who talk Dot org is that all one word? Yeah, no space. No space. Okay, no spaces. Girls who talk dot org. Girls who talk dot org. One no no space. One word and hold up their cards, please. Perfect. I have a card as well <laughs> as uh, as vice principal here. So you see the cards. You see the, and has a daily affirmation. And it's not just really as you found out. Not just for, say, you know, adolescents. It's actually meant for anybody. Adults could benefit from it as well. Okay, tell me about the website as well. The website was, in the beginning, the website was, like, how we were planning it out. Like, how is it going to work? How are we going to spread it out? And the way how we thought of spreading it out was, like, passing out cards. Miss Hunt thought about it, like, oh, you can pass it out. And it was pretty cool. And then... I passed it out to the kids, and it was awesome. They were asking me questions, and then the website is uh is basically about like we show daily affirmations, and we showed like ways how you could like get better, what causes it, and yeah, like food journal and yeah. Amazing, 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 and amazing again with the mentorship from your vice principal, Miss Hunt, to Thank just you. push you guys in such a positive direction. Okay, um, we're at the point now I want to ask you girls this question. I, I don't know what to say anymore. I, I feel I should do my resume, everybody, and see if I can get a job with this crew. If they have any openings, because they're so talented and so bright and so, so smart. Okay, where do you guys go from here? Go. What are your plans for the future? My plans for the future is like, 
middle school, if we have like other stuff like this, I like for to perform something or if we have like free time to perform something, like just pick a topic. I would probably pick this again. And these two are going to the same middle school as me. <laughs> Aww, so, which middle school, by the way? Johnson. Johnson, Johnson okay. Junior. Okay. Mm-hmm. And it's another magnet, mm-hmm. International Baccalaureate Beautiful. Middle School. Yes. Beautiful. Mm-hmm. So we're th- uh, I was thinking maybe like we could do this as a group again. I guess. Perfect. So the word. Perfect. Well, what I want to do when I grow up, I want to be a basketball player. But like if that doesn't work out, like I would like to spread awareness for, for body image. And if I still know Rihanna and Layla, um, I would be their partners again. Perfect. Very good. Great. Friendship, togetherness, wonderful. So, um, like right now, I have my own company for like handbags and backpacks. Mm-hmm. And um, if like, because. Has, has, has the vice principal bought a handbag from you yet? Mm. Yeah. Okay. What's the name of your company? <laughs> it's on my, it's uh, Nana Banana. Because. Nana Banana. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's good stuff. Yeah. It's really cool. And um, so, yeah, my mom's the manager, and like, mm-hmm. I'm the one that came up with the idea, and like, I do some of the designs. Like, I had a couple pictures for my mom, but I'm still going to be like focused on this and I'm still going to have Layla and Alexa as my best friends and I'm oh, still going to yeah and you girls know where to find me I'm always here to mentor <laughs> you and be there for you yeah right? so, so I just hope continue. that we're all going to stick together it's like yeah. and I'm still going to pass out cards not in middle school high school mm-hmm. but maybe still in college and not yeah. to worry and the whole idea guys is to take your talents that you developed here and just let them work for you mm-hmm. let them grow for you what you guys can do here, if you can do this now, and again, I'm completely blown away, I only expect massive things from all three of you. So, quite honestly, everyone watching, uh, quite frankly, uh, first female president, but pre- future president <laughs> of the United States, uh, future Nobel Prize winner, uh, the fir- leader of the first manned mission to Mars, yes. uh, the first NASA mission, she'll be the commander. I only expect massive things from the three of them. They are incredible and very, very impressive young ladies. And I want to close with this. Just want to give another shout out to Vice Principal Hunt. Thank you. An amazing, an amazing Vice Principal. And that's the kind of person every kid needs. And I'm just amazed. You know, everyone always says to me about schools and what they're producing. If this is the future, I am comfortable. Yeah, we're in good shape. I am, we are in very, very good shape having these young ladies be yes. the spearhead of making major changes. And what they've done now, I have a feeling will only be a small dot in what they're going to accomplish the rest of their lives. And to thank Vice Principal Han for what she's done here to make the school a great place, a great place for learning and for everyone to be successful. Now, before we go, you guys have any questions you want to ask myself? Um, uh, was I tough on you? Was it, was it a good interview? It was a good interview. Okay, yeah. okay. all right. I want to make sure. I don't want any hassles, left, <laughs> any issues later on litigation-wise. Okay, good. Um, basically, what I want to say is, like, when I get older, I don't want to just help myself, help others, like, like become a doctor, agent or like a gamer like blogger twins or something sure <laughs> do one one of five um, um uh i um i want to be a gamer or something to help others or like i just want to do something that won't just be for myself like others you know and Very let me good. say something about that also what's amazing is that um that came across the whole interview and that's why we started our channel of Sunridge, mm-hmm. Nevada, was we wanted to give people a chance that may not have been heard to give a chance to relate to them through music, movies, and sports, understand about themselves, and talk about mental health issues that often people never talk about. And you guys went even lower and found out there was an audience for that. Amazing. And that's why we were just so impressed. And we are big fans of social media in words of getting the message out. Because our attitude is rather than one to one, we want to do one to a thousand. And you don't realize just from what you guys did, you probably have affected already several hundred people. That's what's so yeah. amazing to me. What do you want to say? Anything you want to say? Um, I have a question for you. Okay. Um, don't be too tough. Okay. Right. <laughs> um, I was wondering if, like, do you get do you get anything other than poor body image at your job? A to Z, but most of it comes down to people. Honestly, the biggest issue is. They didn't get confidence 
if they're your older people, it, it all comes back to childhood mm -hmm. and not having the confidence to be successful. Mm -hmm. That's what I, I have to say. That's probably, you know, someone is 80, 8 to 80, 7 to 70. That's what comes out all the time is not feeling confident about yourself as a kid, like you guys are, and then not in growing older and never feeling good about yourself and that's what leads people to do things that are in a sense hurtful to themselves hurtful to others they never felt good about themselves that's why i like working with, like i said the younger people because you can try and hopefully mm -hmm. put in good ideas to feel good so i think that really for me is the biggest issue is feeling good about yourself because when you feel good about yourself you have confidence as you grow older any questions you want to ask well, I just like I wanted to say something, but like um, like you said, I could be like another president of the United States, and yes. that's what my mom said when I was younger. Like you could be the president, you could help a lot of people, and I love helping people. Like it's something I want to do. Like I want to continue. Like I looked up to a lot of people that like um, Gandhi. He did like uh, non you know, peaceful protests. What are you teaching here? <laughs> I'm like, what's going on right? here? Okay. Like Martin Luther King Jr., Rosa Parks, they're just all the people I look up to, and I just love helping people, and just I'm proud to be here. Aw, very nice. Thank you. And Me too. Is anything you would like to add? You know what? I would, first of all, I'm just beyond proud of these three young ladies because they did pick a very difficult topic um they picked a very challenging one um and like i said all of our teachers administrators um everyone's a part of this exhibition and picks a group to work with and i was just so blown away when i looked at all the topics um that the kids had picked i thought you know this is a really important one um you know for me um, not only as an administrator as a mother as a female, it's my responsibility, I feel like, every day to be a great role model um, for all of our students um, and to always help them with the, the challenges. So when I read this, I thought, what a great platform for these three young ladies to share um, with our school. And this is definitely something I want to be a part of. And through our International Baccalaureate, we teach our students to be risk takers. Check. Um, to always look at perspective and to understand it and to be able to articulate it, check, um, and to take action through, you know, they, they see a problem, not just come up with a plan, but actually act on it. Amazing. And so I would say that all three of you definitely embody all of our international baccalaureate attitudes, attitude, attitudes and attributes and the traits that... And so it makes me really proud that they're going to move on to another magnet school. And I really feel like our teachers have done a phenomenal job of teaching you those things here. And your parents have done an amazing job of continuing that at home. So I really appreciate it. And I really appreciate people like yourself and Rob who are there to help people. Um, like I said, we reached out to several organizations um, to do it because part of what they have to do is an interview um, and to get you know more information and then to take that information and make changes to their project. And you were the only one who called back. <laughs> and um, I'm shocked. you gave us so much information and you were just so open we to sharing. And, and yeah, those are all of our notes. That oh we took from the phone call. <laughs> we took copious notes. And I just want to thank you because what you're doing every day to help the community is amazing. Thank you, thank it you. It really is. Thank I mean, you. it really is. You're changing lives every day. And that's what we want to teach our children. So hold up the cards one last time and do me one last favor. I want everyone to know again, I want you to say your names for the camera. Go. I'm Rihanna Belay Silva. I'm 11 years old in fifth grade, and I attend Piggott Academy. Hi, I'm Alexa Goodell. Um, I go to Piggott, I'm 10 years old, and I love this topic. Perfect. <laughs> um, I am, I, my name is Leila Chicas Perez, and I'm 11 years old. I attend Piggott Academy, and it's a wonderful school. Aw, Veronica Hunt, I'm the assistant principal here at Piggott Academy, and I'm just really, really proud to be a Piggott Panther and to work with our wonderful students every day. Well, we want to say thank you, thank you, thank you. We have some parting gifts. Okay, Aww. for you guys. First of all, let me just say, just at the meeting principal, huh, and vice principal, I'm talking to her. <laughs> had I had her when I was your age, it would have done a lot better in school. Let me just say Aww. that, okay? <laughs> Number one. First, this is a gift for her because oh we goodness. know how it's not easy to get through the day. <laughs> so she needs chocolate. This will help. Yes. yes. Oh, yes. thank you. And also, whatever 
principal, vice principal needs uh, is aspirin. Yeah. So <laughs> when you have a rough day, here you go. Well, so thank you. can you. finish, have half of that, have four of those. Oh, and, uh, beautiful. Perfect day right here. Thank you. And so much. hardworking young ladies like yourselves oh. who wanted to give gift cards to McDonald's, okay? Oh, I had that for breakfast. McDonald's. And there you go. There are $10 each coupons. Thank Please you. enjoy. Please That's enjoy. Serious. Just wanted to say thank you. Thank you. Uh, the cards inside, but the thank you, thank you, thank, thank you, you, thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, no, no. We Appreciate wanted you it. to make sure you have the <laughs> spring. <set. laughs> I'm good. This is all I need right here. Right, right. At the, end, the end of the week, right? the bottle will be gone already. <laughs> end of the year, yes. yeah. Okay, so thank with you. that, guys, again, fantastic. Everyone, please, we'd like to get comments. I'm really interested in yes. what you guys have to say about these young ladies. Um, they're prepared to write back. Trust me, these girls are all writers, <laughs> and they're not afraid. So give us your comments. Give us your thoughts. We'll go from there to Sunridge of Nevada, Bruce Muffs, and LCSW. All the best. And, guys, this is the future. I'm confident. <laughs> Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs>